Life may be coming back to some sort of new normal after two years of COVID-19 lockdowns, but the pandemic is far from over, with new subvariants still spreading, leading to record numbers of COVID cases. The National Aboriginal Community Controlled Health Organisation, or NACHO, has been working with the new government to make sure that our mob are protected from the virus. The organisation's CEO, Auntie Pat Turner, joins us now. Auntie Pat, Australia has surpassed 10,000 COVID-19 deaths and authorities are warning of this new wave of infections. What impact is this having on our mob or continuing to have and what's the severity of it? Well, it's quite serious um, and I would urge everybody to please get their booster shots. Um, I've had four COVID uh, vaccinations to date, plus my flu shot, and I would encourage everybody to please do that. Um, for those over uh, 55 who are eligible for the fourth shot, do that. But there are many of our people who still haven't had their third booster or their flu shot. So please go ahead and do that. And remember to practice the uh, public health uh, messaging wow. in terms of wear a mask if possible, if there's a lot of COVID. There's a lot of COVID in Canberra at the moment, for example. So, you know, do the right things, wash your hands, maintain a social distance of one and a half metres and wear a mask where possible. And please get your shots. Absolutely. And we, we've just had the National NAIDOC ball over the weekend and with so much COVID and flu around at the moment, we know we need the boosters and the vaccines, wearing masks and washing hands, but what's some other advice to our community uh, that we can give them to keep safe? There are new medications coming online that will assist with COVID, um, but I'm not sure exactly uh, when they're available and what age groups that will apply to. Uh, but remember that children from five can get vaccinated now, so it's important. The elders are doing really well, let me say, um, but the adults and the children, I think there's a bit of a lag, so please make sure that we look after everybody in our communities. Mm. Ray here, Annie Pat. Now, you're someone who's been showing up for our communities for as long as I can remember. What does this year's NAIDOC theme of get up, stand up, show up mean to you? Well, I was reflecting on that and it means to me, you know, I remember during NAIDOC week, all of the people who have come before us and the great struggle that they led to achieve justice for our people across the board. So I always remember them. I remember NITB being launched 15 years ago this very week when I was the inaugural CEO in beaming to the bush. So, um, you know, that was a great initiative. And I just uh, was reflecting on some of the guests that you've had on this morning and what talent we have right across the country. And it's so good to see that the efforts of our um, warriors before us um, have not been lost and that we continue to do the work uh, to achieve a decent quality of life and uh, protection of our rights as Indigenous people right across the country. That's what it means to me. Beautiful words there, Annie Pat. And uh, we do thank you for your time, as always. We know you're a busy lady, especially during NAIDOC week, so we do thank you and it's great to see you. Uh, always. Thank you very much and happy NAIDOC week, everybody. Happy NAIDOC week. Job.